Yeah, well, summer just started this morning, 413 this morning. We have saw the official summer solstice. Me. Yeah. So I thought it started about a couple <laughs> months ago. <laughs> Beginning of May. Yeah, right? exactly. Well, this will be one of the longest days of the year. After today, days will start to getting shorter again before you know it. It'll be fall and we'll be talking about how cool it is outside. And yeah, uh huh? Think about that in the middle. Before you of, know it. Think about that in the end of July or beginning of <laughs> August. <laughs> Temperatures right now in the uh, middle 70s as you head up north. Woodville's at 75. Also, Silsby's at 75, 74. Kirbyville, and then we drop all the way back to 73 in Jasper. A little warmer here around the Triangle. Port Arthur actually still in the 80s right now at 81. 79 in Orange and 76 in Beaumont. Outside, we have a few clouds. They actually had a shower pass by earlier, but it lasted all of about, what, 30, 40 seconds, Tracy? Yeah, wasn't exactly, here, yeah. Wasn't here for long. We were excited for that <laughs> second, though. <laughs> for those few <laughs> seconds, yes. Here's our 12 new studio camera, part of the Roofing 911 Live Skycam Network. And uh, this is... Uh, Sponsored by Mid County Plumbing. You can see a few cars starting to pick up there on I 10. Not much showing up on radar. You can see a couple of showers towards southwest Louisiana, another couple of heavy downpours in towards uh, Galveston Bay and right here across the immediate area. Uh, a little bit of a shower if you're coming out of Winnie, maybe heading northward, and then a couple more isolated showers just on the uh, east side of uh, 124 there, or east side of uh, I 10. Uh, between Winnie and Beaumont. So not much out there this morning. We're only expecting a 20% coverage as we go through the afternoon. You can see some of those showers coming in off the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, they'll continue to kind of work their way across the area from east to west today. So kind of backwards as far as our weather is normally uh, seen. Usually we see a west to east pattern. Today it's going to be kind of the other direction. So keep an eye out towards the east and you might catch a few showers this morning. I think we for the most part dry, but you could see a few isolated showers and then this afternoon 20, maybe 30% coverage of a few showers, maybe even a few thunderstorms popping up as we get up into the uh, middle 90s, fall back to around 90 at the beginning of the evening and then late in the evening we'll see temperatures back into the uh, uh, lower 80s and then 70s overnight with mostly clear skies. So forecast reads like this for your Tuesday, partly cloudy, slight chance, 20, maybe 30% chance of a couple of showers, a couple of isolated thunderstorms today, temperatures in the middle 90s, and then we back off into the 70s overnight, warm, humid, with west winds at 5 to 10. Tomorrow, high of 97, we keep climbing from there, 99 on Thursday, 100 for Friday. Looks like after today, our rain chance is really not in the forecast. We can put in a slight chance, but for the most part, don't think we'll see too much as we head not only through the rest of the work week, but through the weekend as well. And look at those temperatures for Saturday and Sunday right there in the lower 100s, 101, 100 degrees. Luckily, it looks like we have another chance of rain coming in on Monday, at about 30% coverage, and that should help at least keep us under that triple digit mark. Mm, all right. Well, at least the very first day of summer is not as hot as the rest of the week. That's true. Woo, We're always looking at the bright 95. side. 95. <laughs> only 95 only. today, yeah. <laughs> All right, hopefully get one of those rain chances too. All right, yeah. thank you, Jeff.